Psalm 133 verse 2 describes the anointing of Aaron as precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garments. You see, these words precious and ointment indicate that it was not just your average olive oil that was being used, but these were pure oils such as those used in the holy anointing oil. The Hebrew word for anoint is masak, which means to smear, spread, or massage. And in some cases, it means to pour oil over the head or body. It shares the same root word as messiah, mashiach, meaning the anointed one. In the New Testament, the Greek word Christos or Christ means anointed one and is used 361 times. Now you may see other phrases or words used in scriptures, such as anointing oil, ointment, spices, incense, perfumes, odors, sweet savors, aromas, and fragrances. These are all implying that essential oils were used. The sacred act of anointing is mentioned 156 times in the Bible. The Hebrew word for anointing is shemin, which means fat oil or fatness or olive oil. In Isaiah 10:27, it says, And it shall come to pass in that day that his burden shall be taken away from off thy shoulder and his yoke from off thy neck, and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. It is the oil that breaks the yoke, not simply the act of anointing.